For the first time ever, the excitement of professional indoor lacrosse comes to PPL Center in downtown Allentown. Tonight, it's a National Lacrosse League preseason showdown between a pair of rivals as the New England Black Wolves take on the Buffalo Bandits. Hello and welcome to our coverage here on Service Electric TV2 Sports alongside former Lehigh head coach Chris Wakely. John Schaefer with you here tonight. And Chris, if you've never seen professional indoor lacrosse, the fans here tonight should be in store for a fun one. Yeah, this style of lacrosse is a lot of fun, John. It's up and down, shot up his stick quickly as well. Professional indoor lacrosse coming to you tonight from downtown Allentown. We'll have it for you, Buffalo and New England. It comes your way next, right here on TV2 Sports. We welcome you back inside our press box location here tonight, John Schaefer and Chris Wakely. And Chris, what a first half it was for the goalkeepers, specifically Anthony Cosmo at 20 first half saves tonight for the Bandits. Unbelievable. He's on his spot. He's taking the right angles. He's very calm between the players. And back outside for the newcomer, Sean Evans. What a season last year in Calgary, 130 points. Nice pass there, and there's the second goal tonight for New England. Kevin Crowley gets involved. Injured last year, had just six goals, but strikes to tie this up in two. Anthony Malcolm keeps it, shoots and scores. And the Bandits lead by two for the first time tonight as Anthony Malcolm finds the back of the net. Ferreira for Smith, who shoots and scores. Dane Smith gets involved. Last year, 39 goals, former first rounder, and it's a three goal run for Buffalo. They lead 5-2. Job by Evans for Crowley who scores. Kevin Crowley has his second, and it's the first goal since 13-29 of the first quarter. That was also Crowley. There's a chance for Evans who finds the back of the net for the first time for New England. That is what he has been traded for. 47 goals last year, two-time NLL MVP. It's a 7-4 game. Nice move. Buchanan scores. It's a three-goal run for New England. Kyle Buchanan strikes. Chris, New England has not led tonight as the bounce pass ends up with Shane McDonald. Now Evans. He can create himself. Evans. Nice find for Saunders. A one-timer is off the pipe. Staying with New England. 6.36 remaining. Evans quarterback in New England offense right now. Every time the ball comes out of a stick, something good happens. Evans on a wing. Saunders one more time, hoping to create falls over, and then gets banged up against the board. Good defense by James Batson, and Buffalo's got it. Great defense. And the Bandits have not trailed. They've allowed the last four, though. Their lead very much in jeopardy as they try to reclaim it now at seven all. Dane Smith has had a big night. He's cut off. Fires high. Loose ball ends up with Buffalo. And uh, then it's lost. Go. Here comes New England the other way. An opportunity. Sheldon Burns is cut off. He's got a teammate, McDonald, that goes wide. On Deruzio, got a piece of it. What action here in the fourth. It's up and down now. Cross check there. Stays, though, with Anthony Malcolm, who's got a two-goal night. Approaching five to play. Buffalo has not scored in the fourth. Smith fires right to the body of Kirk, though. Here comes Ryan Hodling. And that's picked off. Dangerous pass. Will it create an opportunity for Buffalo? Loose ball. Bodies flying. Possession critical. Buffalo's got it. Matt Bennett. This will take us inside of five minutes. Nate Smith looking for a hat trick and cannot find a teammate as it sails through the crease. Now a jump shot try in front of Kirk and a shot clock violation with 4.48 to play, which brings us to our final media timeout of regulation. We've got a good one for you. We're tied at seven. Stay with us on TV2 Sports. Cross fans enjoying a wild one tonight. New England has come back from 7-3 down in the fourth quarter to tie it up at seven. 
And there is life on that Black Wolves bench. Glenn Clark looks on, first year head coach. And they have clawed all the way back from 7-3 down. And again, the familiarity between Clark and Jim Feltman, an NLL Hall of Famer who's got eight titles. They're close friends. They coach their kids lacrosse teams together, and now they're on the same staff. Yeah, and I'm sure after they're coaching their kids' games, they go home and uh, sit out back and talk about these moments. Here's a chance for New England to take their first lead. Can Sean Evans deliver again? Look at that move, up and under. Looking for his teammate, Kevin Buchanan. Stays with New England. Shot on net to Ruzio, makes the body save. It ends up in his equipment and goes to Buffalo. DeRuzio and Cosmo, almost twins here tonight. They don't move much, they have a good angle. Goaltending's been excellent. Oh, it's been outstanding. Daring the shooters try to get one past them. Oh, unforced error. Dane Smith drops it. Here's a breakaway opportunity for New England. McGill in transition, stoned there by DeRuzio. Stick save. It's a good shot by McGill, just a better save by DeRuzio. Might have been a lower half save. He just kind of stuck out his leg at the last moment there. Again, when you're, when you're taking it with the correct angle, it only takes a half step to make a save. New England has taken control here in the fourth to get even. They have not led. Kevin Crowley tries to change that, but can't connect. Under four minutes. Back and forth we go here at the PPL Center. Glad to have you alongside. Great shot tonight on TV2 Sports. An opportunity in front, but unable to get a shot off there was Buffalo. We're up and down now, John. That was Craig England. Tied at seven. New England with possession. Here's Evans, the difference maker, the newcomer. Gets rid of it. Has Saunders, who scored a moment ago. Saunders circling for Evans, behind the net. Evans tries to dump one in on DeRuzio, and then kicks and shoves him aside with three minutes to play. Now, it doesn't feel like an exhibition, I'll tell you that right now. It, it, it may be for the first half, it did a little bit. Both teams uh, feeling themselves out, but over the last couple of minutes, certainly not. Yeah, not right now. Under three to go. The next may win it. Buffalo trying to take back the lead. Smith strikes. And it was off the pipe. No goal. The officials say no goal. I'll tell you, if you're an official and you, and you do not have 20-20 vision, this is not <laughs> the job for you. Smith, very active, nearly scored a moment ago. And we get a whistle. And on the restart, this goes to New England. So each team looking to take the potential game winner here. Down at seven. This feels like the team with the ball last going to win this they game win tonight. No question, Chris. This is Cal Buchanan with possession. Two minutes to play, trying to create himself. Still has it. Shot clock inside. Ten dangerous hit there. Ball jarred loose. Loose ball. Buffalo's got it. Beautifully done there in transition, but then a turnover on a high pass. Black Wolves get it back. Can they take their first lead inside of two minutes to play tonight? That would be a fairy tale ending. Kevin Crowley strikes that off the backboards. Now McDonald. Outside, Evans shoots and scores. That's why New they picked him up in the offseason. New England leads for the first time. He's got a hat trick. Great low to low shot. Again, the ball changed from one half of the field to the other. Goalie on the move. As he's moving, you put it where he's not. What a fourth quarter, Chris. Sean Evans has taken over with that sidearm delivery. It almost knuckled by DeRuzio to the far side.